I'm about to do a top speed run on one of the world's fastest electric scooters. This is the Roadrunner RX-7, and it might also be the most anticipated electric scooter of 2024. And not even because it's fast, but because of all the top shelf components. Magura four-piston hydraulic brakes, the best electric scooter brakes in the world. It's got the largest removable battery we have ever seen, made from Samsung battery cells. Electroluminescent paint that lights up the whole scooter at night. Adjustable KKE hydraulic shocks, and it comes with the world's best scooter tires, made in Italy by PMT. This is our first impressions video of the Roadrunner RX-7 electric scooter, and we're gonna do two things. A speed run challenge, pitting it against the world's fastest production model electric scooters, and we're gonna unbox it and show you all the unusual things that come in the box with this scooter. We've never seen anything like it. All right, we are back on day one with what has got to be the most anticipated electric scooter of 2024, the Roadrunner RX-7, a scooter so big, it comes in two separate boxes. I'm gonna open the big one first because I really wanna see what this scooter looks like. We're not gonna see the scooter yet though because there's another layer. So this is really cool. This is a style that we first saw on the Apollo Pro where they sort of embed the scooter in a foam case. And that's a great way to ship. Oh, and this is nice. So already I can see some really nice finishes here. We've got some brushed stainless looking finish here. This is very Nami style right here. This is the tapered collar. It's gonna slide down. Oh, that feels so heavy duty. Like super heavy duty. All right, so that screws down. And then what does this do? Oh, this screws down behind it. It's like a big lock nut. All right, and then we're gonna clamp this down. Oh, there's another box inside this box. It comes with like what looks like an oil filter wrench and I'll bet this is for snugging down the, uh, the stem clamp right here. We've got axle covers. I never tend to put those on, but these are spare ones. It's already equipped with four of them, looks like. Gotta find out what's in this other box. This is so fun because usually, you know, unboxing is uh, you know, unboxing. You know, kind of know what's gonna be in there. But this time I feel like we're gonna find some surprises because there's so many boxes. What? No way. This we have never seen before. It's an electric pump. Even the most high-end scooters we've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> it's got a flashlight. It was, just turned itself on. Um, yeah, even the most high-end scooters we've ever seen didn't come with electric pumps. That's awesome. There's so much stuff in here. What else? And we've got this steering damper and it's branded and it looks like it's got a pretty long throw and that can be important so that you get the full range of steering out of your scooter when this is installed. Little branded accessory bag. This is gonna go on the stem. You can carry your stuff around in that. Sounds like some heavy tools in here. Oh, wow, this is really thorough. Okay, so if you ever need to change your tires, you've got a pair of tire levers uh, to get the, uh, to pry the, the tires off the rims. And you get rim guards so you don't scratch your rims up when you're levering the tires up over the rims. Very thoughtful. What else? What? <laughs> There's a ratchet wrench in here. This is amazing. It just keeps going. We've got a regular tool set, of course, in a nice black socket and another socket. A nice valve stem adapter that makes it easier to get your pump attached to the valve stems on the scooter. This is a, uh, we've got a security Torx and that's gotta be for the Magura brakes. And then, oh, a really nice set of uh, Allen wrenches. This thing opens right up and there you go, full set. This has gotta be the charger. It says 84 volts, five amps. Boom, nice big charger. It's got a 40 amp hour battery. So the way you do that math, divide the 40 amp hours by five amps, you're gonna get it fully charged in eight hours if you fully drain the battery. And this is the kind with the fan on it. So it's gonna make a little noise if you're in the same room as the scooter when it's charging. Wow, this deck is absolutely huge. Made out of nice rubber. It's got a white pattern on here. It kind of goes with the Lumilor. Uh, I'm gonna get the keys up here. We've got two sets of keys. One is for the ignition, one is for the battery. I'm so excited about all the toys. I haven't even put the handlebars on yet. Let's see, I'm gonna guess the little ones are for the deck. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, that's nice. Wow, that is a, a beefy plate on there and a big beefy plug. Let's get the battery out and drop it in here. All right, let's open the second box, or I guess this is the third box now. Dun, dun, dun. Whoa. <laughs> oh, look at that, what a beast. Oh, that's the battery. It's got a nice handle on it right in the middle. 
All right, let's check it out. 32.6 pounds. And check this out. It's got, so this is where it plugs into the scooter. Big plugs right there. And it's got two separate charging ports, so you can charge it inside the house. And if you have two chargers, that's up to 10 amps at a time. All right, let's drop the battery in. That's a lift. And it's nice to give you this little hook right here to pull it out. It's in. And check it out, you get a cool little keychain with it too. A little dome-shaped keychain. All right, let's put the bars on. You know what's funny about this? I can feel that this is made out of billet aluminum. It feels different than when you're threading in and out of cast aluminum, which is what we're usually working with. The other reason this has got to be billet is look how thin this aluminum is. There's no way you can make that out of cast aluminum and have it be that thin. Where are we going with this guy? Okay, like that. Okay, there we go. All right, we got the bars on. I'm gonna peel the cover off the headlight now. Get this aimed, and this is cast metal. It feels really nice. Key on, power switch over here. Wow, it's like a, it's like a gun sight here. There's a lot going on. Looks like we're charged up to about 80 volts right now. We're in gear one. Uh, I think we gotta get this up on the stand and see how fast it goes in each of the modes. While we're at it, let's get the ESG official weight for the scooter with the battery installed. So pretty close to the spec, it looks like 142.6. All right, let's check out the modes. We've got a NAMI style throttle over here. All right, so gear one, we've already seen 21 miles per hour. Gear two, whoa, holy smokes. 53 miles per hour in gear two. How many gears have we got? Gear three, all right. 81 indicated. We'll see what it does on the road, but we're not gonna be limited by the firmware. At this point, I'm feeling a little intimidated about the top speed run tomorrow. This thing spun up really, really fast. But one thing that gives me a little comfort is these are Italian racing tires. They're super soft and they're made out of real rubber, unlike regular tires, which are made out of nylon. And uh, they should give it really good grip and better acceleration. Check these out. We've got metal fenders. That's a pretty nice touch. And they're really beefy and wide looking. I like that. And then of course, we've got the fully adjustable hydraulic suspension front and rear. All right, so we don't usually do this at this part of the review, but I can't wait anymore. I've Gotta see these electroluminescent lights by Luminor. This is the only scooter in the world that has them. All right, here we go. Wow, that's cool. I've seen videos of these. Sometimes it looks a little more white, sometimes a little more blue, but it's definitely sort of an ice blue appearance in person. This is gonna look amazing at night. And then let me check out the regular headlight as well. All right, so we have like a pretty wide beam. Let's see, we have a pretty, pretty wide beam on the wall. And then we've got these little lights up front. We've got little side marker lights at the front and you get turn signals back here too. And last but certainly not least, I'm really looking forward to checking out these Magura MT5E brakes. They're four pistons, two on each side, and they are the highest spec brakes we've ever seen on any scooter. The only other electric scooter I know of that uses Maguras is the eMove Roadster, and ours was a pre-production unit, so we haven't even seen these in person until now. All right, now it's time to get it on charge so I can go out and speed test this tomorrow. Okay, here we go. I am on the RX-7. These are literally my first 10 feet riding this scooter. And uh, I'm doing some of the extra stupid today. You know, speed runs, they're kind of dumb. Um, nobody should do them. We're just, we're just doing this to find out how fast they go. If there's any other way to find out how fast they go, we would do that. Um, but I'm being extra stupid today is that I have not ridden this scooter at all. <laughs> and. Uh, I'm gonna have my first ride uh, going from zero to 60 or 70 or however fast this thing goes. So, uh, but so far, you know, throttle response feels smooth, brakes feel good, so, you know, it's looking good. All right, don't try this at home, kids. You could really actually die. See, 50. Fifty. 
58. <laughs> Just enough room. The Roadrunner RX-7 went 66.53 miles per hour in the eastbound direction, and then 59.85 against the wind going the other way. And when we average those together to cancel out any headwind or tailwind, we get an ESG official top speed of 63.2 miles per hour. That puts it in fourth place against the fastest electric scooters we have ever tested, ahead of the Dualtron X Limited and behind the T-Wing Mars XTR. So we've always known that our top speeds tend to come out a little bit lower than other reported top speeds, and the reason for that is is, is we don't just you know pick the highest number when the wind was at our back we take a two direction average to cancel out any effect of headwind or tailwind but there's another factor that i just discovered we're at sea level right now so we have like the thickest air you can get and the guys at roadrunner are testing at 5,000 feet so my 63.2 miles per hour would scale to 69 or 70 if i tested at 5,000 feet the zero to 30 time was 3.6 seconds putting it in fifth place against the quickest electric scooters we've ever tested so the rx7 beats the bernie 2 max and comes in just behind the inmotion rs so now that ramir and i have had a chance to ride the rx7 around a little bit uh we thought we'd share some of our first impressions with you and one of the things that strikes me looking at it is like there are a lot of sort of best of features here a lot of features that like favorite things from other scooters that i'm seeing there's also a ton of original stuff here too what do you think of just the overall build paul i think it's pretty good it looks nice but once i started to push the scooter i can feel the quality like right off the bat and then when i got on it, just the, pushing it around the room. yeah just yeah. pushing it around the room you could like yeah. okay this is, might be one of those ones and then i got on it and it felt really good. I really, I felt real stable, bounced on it. I don't know, I actually like it. When you have these B scooters that go crazy fast like this, when you're going fast at the speeds, you want to feel safe. And I actually felt pretty good with this. It felt like it wasn't going anywhere. You know, I was hopping on it, real bouncy, real nice suspension on there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Okay, we just came off the T-Wing Mars XTR, which is like insane, right? I mean, it's just like a tire shredding beast. So I was kind of expecting more of the same. And what I found was it's not like that at all. It's like, it's very sort of the throttle is, is sort of soft and progressive, like the Nami, not soft in a bad way, soft in a like controllable way. Right. Um, the suspension is, you know, I just got done seeing the T-Wing Mars was some of the best I've ever felt. This is also some of the best I've ever felt. I'll explain exactly why in the review, because there are, there are like real reasons that I can like, I could back this up. But part of the suspension is also the tires. You know, if you've ever tried PMT tires before, if you don't, go get some, put them on your scooter. It's trans it'll transform your scooter. But um, they, it's like an instant suspension upgrade. Like we always think of the traction being better on PMTs. These are Italian made racing tires. Um, it, they also are just cushier. They just feel like you've upgraded your shocks when you didn't. And so that plus having a better setup for shocks than most scooters have, it just, this the ride is like, unbelievably smooth uh so really that's something that this really stood out um right away and of course the brakes oh my god this is my first time on on magura brakes uh outside of a motorcycle um we've seen them on you know actually i think the land i think the land had maguras on it anyway some of my favorite motorcycles have had maguras but i've never ridden a scooter that had maguras on it because our roadster which does come with maguras was pre pre-production so we didn't have it yet and these are amazing. Four pistons. Um, I haven't done any braking distance measurements yet, but the feel, the lever feel, and the just the stopping, the control is uh, is really outstanding. Did you notice the brakes at all? Um, yeah, the brakes they were pretty good. You could stop on a dime. So this is my first time with those type of brakes as well. And one thing I forgot to mention earlier, the deck is huge, but it's, it's it feels pretty nice. Like when I was I was on there, I was moving around. Like I feel like you can somewhat dance on a deck. That's how much space you have. And when you're going, you know, when it's a powerful B scooter like this, you want it to feel really good. And that's what you get with this deck. Like it's roomy, it has a ton of space, and it has a little extra thing you can put your foot on if you felt like it. But I didn't really need to put my foot on there because I had so much, like I, I don't go back to back much, or but this one I had my foot like on the right front and the back and the back left, and it was so comfortable, but I could move any position I wanted. Yeah. Like I can basically like, Sea walk on a deck. <laughs> and that's, it was handy during the speed run too, because you know during a speed run you want to crouch. Well, I like to crouch down to get away from the wind, and it just gave me a lot of options in terms of you know how I was standing and getting comfortable and getting kind of small. When you were doing a speed test, I didn't think you were going that fast. I didn't either. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad you said that. So here's something. Gotta gotta clear this up because you're gonna see it. You're gonna hear me calling it out on screen. 
is the speedometer. This is the first time ever we've seen a speedometer underestimate the speed. So it was telling me I was like, yeah, barely breaking 60 out there. But like I went 67 or something in, in one of the directions. And so I thought I wasn't going that fast. Ramir looked at me and I was like moving smooth and stable. Didn't look like I was going that fast. And so I came back in feeling like, oh, I didn't go that fast. And we looked at the data and boom, it's fast. So, you know, there we go. That's that's the first time that's ever happened. Yeah, I think that's a plus, man. When you get something that's going that fast and it looks that smooth. Yeah. Yeah, that's a win for me. So you're going to want to stay tuned. We, this is obviously, this is our first impressions video. So we don't have the range test, uh, the braking test, a lot of the tests done yet. But stay tuned to the station because we'll be back with a full review in a little while. But in the meantime, I do want to take you on a quick tour of the scooter and show you just some of the cool things about it. Some of the things that are similar to other favorite scooters. And because it also kind of explains why the scooter works the way it does. Okay, so I'm gonna, so first off, these KKE shocks, you see how that mounted? They're not squished like in the middle in there. They're up on top and they're the same distance from like the pivot point as the wheel. And so that ratio just makes the damping work better. Okay, something else you'll notice here, you see these motors? These look an awful lot like the ones on the Nami, except that here the rims come detached from the motors. Uh, in fact, this one is running tubes from what I understand, uh, the first 50 or so units, but later units will be running the same PMT tires, but without tubes because these are actually split rims, which make tire changes easier. Okay, we mentioned the Maguras, we mentioned the amazing Makura brakes, but I wanted to show you those up close. And then this stem latch is a lot like the one on the Nami. I'm not going to go to the details, but uh, we'll show you that in the full review. Something else that's like the Nami is the throttle. It's got the paddle style throttle. It's got a bit of a dead zone uh, when you first start pushing it, but it does give you a lot of throttle control. And it's still, you know, one of my favorite throttles because of that. Here's what these amazing brake master cylinders look like. Ignore that, that's our GPS unit that gets the uh, speed on screen when we're doing all of this. It's got these great locking grips that lock at both ends. Branded Roadrunner. And it's got one of the best steering dampers I've seen. Something that a lot of scooters get wrong is the damper isn't long enough. So you can't turn all the way left or all the way right. This one, it lets you do that and it feels really good. It's got tons of damping if you want it. Um, so good job, Roadrunner. Thanks for watching our first impressions video, the Roadrunner RX-7. Don't forget to get subscribed so you don't miss all the details and all the testing in our full review.